The Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra is the latest top of the line mobile device from the Samsung flagship for 2025. And I have had the joy of using this spectacular device for a few weeks now. Today I will be working on discovering if Samsung DeX is still an outstanding future on this latest mobile device from Samsung. So stay with me and let's do this. DeX is derived from desktop experience and is a software feature that allows Samsung Galaxy devices to provide a desktop-like computing experience when working on a DeX-supported mobile device. The list of mobile devices supported by Samsung DeX as at the time of this video include Galaxy S series, Galaxy Note series, Galaxy Z Fold series, Galaxy A series, and Galaxy Tab S series. Here are some important points to consider when planning to pick up a device for Samsung DeX. It is always best to check the official Samsung website for your device's specifications. My usual productivity setup comprises of my Windows laptop or my Apple MacBook connected to a docking station and extended to a dual screen. To provide me with the kind of visual real estate that I enjoy when performing a variety of computing tasks at my desk. In a bid to achieve a true dual screen setup with Samsung DeX, I purchased various docking stations to see if any one of them could give me the kind of experience which I desire. I will be trying out the Wavelink USB-C Ultra 5K Universal Docking Station, the Belkin Thunderbolt 3 Dock, the Lenovo ThinkPad Hybrid USB-C with USB-A Dock, and the Dell WD19TB Docking Station. I also have here two 27-inch Lenovo monitors to aid me with performing the tests. Since the Samsung DeX connection is plug and play, I expect the Samsung DeX on this Galaxy S25 Ultra to be automatically activated once the mobile device is connected to a supported display setup. I begin with the Wavelink USB-C Ultra 5K Universal Docking Station. I unbox the docking station and looking at it, I notice that it has various ports that provide connectors that would likely work with Samsung DeX. I connect both monitors to the docking station using two 5K enabled display ports and I connect the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra to the docking station using a USB Type-C to Type-C cable. I power on the docking station and expect the best results. Nothing shows up on the screen, so I try to check out the settings on the phone to find out if something is off with the settings. I search for and open Samsung DeX on the device and select Start DeX. It simply shows no compatible display found. So I decide to move on and try out the next docking station. I try out the Belkin Thunderbolt 3 dock. This docking station has one display port and one HDMI port, which I believe is also supported by Samsung DeX. I connect a cable from one of the monitors to the docking station and connect the docking station to the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. I select Start DeX and wait a bit to see if anything comes up on the screen. It still shows no compatible device found, so I move on to try the next docking station. I tried the Lenovo ThinkPad Hybrid USB-C with USB-A dock. It has a similar setup to the first docking station. So I connect both monitors to the docking station using the two available display ports on the docking station. And I connect the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra to the docking station using a USB Type-C to Type-C cable. 
I see this message on the phone screen to choose an app for the USB device. So I make a selection and I wait for an image to show up on the screen. But no image comes up. Trying to get an image by playing around with the settings reveal that no compatible display is found. So I decide to move on to try the next docking station. The Dell WD19TB docking station has been my primary docking station for a few years now. Not only because I use a Dell laptop and enjoy using the brand, but also because it has proved to be a reliable device for mirroring displays on several occasions. I proceed to connect both monitors to the docking station using the two available display ports on the docking station. I connect the power adapter to the device and I connect the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra to the docking station using the attached USB Type-C Thunderbolt connector. I receive this message on the phone which is a positive sign of progress and I click OK to proceed. Both monitors are now up and displaying the DeX environment. However, it is the same image that is mirrored to both screens. For some reason, DeX would not recognize any peripheral device connected to the docking station. So I proceed to connect a wireless Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra and proceed to check if there exists any settings in Samsung DeX to extend the display. All my attempts at extending the DeX display on my dual screen setup was met with a brick wall. So I finally decided to overlook this current limitation and explore the other available options in this current version of Samsung DeX. I was able to use word processing apps like Samsung Notes and type off on the connected wireless keyboard as though I was working on a typical desktop computer. I could also open several apps at a given time and scroll through the opened apps to make a selection of the particular app that I was interested in using. It is also possible to connect DeX wirelessly to a DeX compatible display such as a modern conventional TV as shown here. With such a setup, it is possible to split your screen without any considerable heat to work productivity and watch media from your phone or enjoy a time of gaming without a direct cable connection to your mobile device. A few things I observed about this current version of Samsung DeX include that it is really fluid and the apps are really responsive. This might be largely due to the new optimized chipset on the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Secondly, this version of Samsung DeX still does not have any dedicated settings in the software aimed at enhancing the desktop user experience. Hence, the available options are severely limited in DeX mode when compared to the vast capability of the mobile device in use. Also, Samsung DeX software for Windows is not compatible with the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. So, Samsung DeX on a Windows PC now has a new setup and look. If you are interested in finding out how DeX is now set up on Windows, kindly check in the video description. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. Thank you for watching and have a blessed and awesome day. Bye for now.